Welcome back. Today I have something kind of cool to share with you that I found when I was out yard sailing. This is not a Lego set. It is a Lego board game. This is the Lego Creator Race to Build It board game. And I didn't even know this existed until I found it. And I found it just as it is. I bought this for a total of $5. It is 100% complete. And when I came home, I did some research on this and it sells for about $20 on eBay. So I'd say that's a pretty good pickup. But I thought it'd be fun to share this with you today and show you what's inside here and how to play the Lego Creator Race to Build It board game. Before I break into this, we'll take a closer look at the box, which I have to say after 17 years is still in pretty good shape. The only issue that I'm seeing is there's some tape over here on the side, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. Got the price tag there to verify what I paid for it, $5. I didn't try to talk them down or anything. This typically sells for about $20 on eBay, so I feel like I got a good deal with all the pieces included. One thing I really love about this box is the artwork. This minifigure right here with that red construction helmet, that takes me back to my childhood and that's just fantastic. Here's some of the things that you're going to be building when you play this game, and as it says, it's the race to build it board game so the object of the game is to build a model from a predetermined card and that's a little bit what you can see down here and we'll take a look at the back of it here there's what the board looks like which you're going to see a little bit better here in a second and has a dice and all that other fun stuff so let's unbox this thing now opening the box set that back here first thing that you see are the pieces which somebody must have had some really good parents here because if this was me, these pieces probably would have gotten mixed in with my regular Lego sets as a kid and you would have never found these. But it looks to be everything here. I haven't counted them out or anything. I'm taking their word for it. One thing I can say is that everything else from the box is here. First thing we'll look at is the instruction manual or the instruction booklet. This kind of goes over how to play the game and I'll show this to you in a little more detail after we unbox everything. The next thing that you see in here are the, are the model cards. These are very important in the game. There are, I think, uh, four or five different colors. You got green, red, black, yellow, and blue. And before the game starts, you have to decide what color everyone's gonna use. So everyone uses the same. And so let's just say that we all pick blue. Everybody gets a card and this is a two to four person game. And your goal is to build this model right here. So you start with nothing, and that's the goal of the game, which I'll show you now, and then you're eventually going to end up with this, and the first person that builds whatever item that they're supposed to build, they are the winner. And as you can see, they're all different, so they all use different pieces from the, the board, and speaking of the board, that's gonna be the most important part of this, and here it is, in perfect shape. So let me see if I can show you this thing here. Uh, what's going to happen when you play this are all these pieces are going to get spread out in the center here. So all the normal pieces are around this circle. All the special pieces are in this circle. And then everyone picks a hat out of here. I don't know if you can see, but there's a red hat. And then there are, there's, I think there's a black hat. And there's one for every color. And then what you do, you kind of play this like Monopoly where everyone starts in a certain spot. You roll the die and then you roll around and each spot has a command on it where it says pick one blue brick pick one brick, take one brick from another, pick one special piece, and that's what you would find in the center here. And then that just goes all around, so you can see pick white brick, one brick, and you just keep going around until you end up finishing your model. And since I'm going through this game in such detail, I'm gonna show you all the model card builds so you can see what they look like as well. We're just gonna flip through these real fast so you can see them all. And I will continue to try to fill this space with some type of speaking, but that's about it. You're just gonna see all these. That one's kinda cool and keep going. There's a lot of these to choose from. And these are all different colors on the back. I think what we mentioned there was five different colors, four different ones, so there's 20 to go through. I think that one's my favorite. So we're gonna set that one aside because that's the one I'm gonna use on this game. I just got all the pieces out, but we just got one tiny little problem. They've got the total number of pieces right, but there was a couple substitutions done here. If you look at this piece right here, they tried putting this piece in, and that is not the same, but not a huge deal because that's a very common piece. Shouldn't have any issues there, but, so I won't fault them on that. And then this one right here isn't included, but they put a white one in. That's, that's a clear piece, just like these other ones are. So I'll have to substitute that out as well. So they weren't 100% correct when they said all pieces included. They do have the number of pieces, but not all of them. But who can complain for $5? And I got everything else. There's the board all set up. There's the little hats that you use to start playing the game. And uh, let's go through a little sample of this game to show you what it's like. First, I told you I'd show you the rules. Let's roll a die and move the same number of spaces on the game board. Follow the directions on the space. If you land on a space directing you to take a Lego brick or a special piece, do so. If you land on a space you don't need, you lose that turn. 
You may begin to build your structure as soon as you have pieces to put together. Play then passes to the next player to the left. And here's a funny thing, if you're wondering who starts the game, the player who's wearing the most colorful clothing gets to start the game. Play continues in a clockwise direction. Moving on, play continues in this manner with players traveling around and around the board until one player wins the game. You may travel around the board twice, or you may travel around many times. Winning, the first player to complete the structure as pictured on the LEGO model card wins the game. Because this board's so big, it's hard to get a decent shot of this, but I think we got the idea here. I got my card. I'm going to be the blue piece, so we're going to slide the other ones off. Again, playing this by yourself isn't the ideal way to do it, but that's what I have available right now. So we'll roll the dice, and I got a six. So I think we're going this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I get to pick two bricks, of which I'm going to pick the first two from my instructions here, which is the green... Uh, two by six, and then I'm also gonna pick the wheel axle, and we'll put that together. Okay, so I got step one done already, and we'll roll again. Three, one, two, three, pick one blue brick. All right, so that works well, because I have this propeller spot to put on, so we'll pick that. And got a one, pick one special piece. Let's see here. I'm going to need, I'm going to need one of these. So I'm going to pick that for now, even though I can't put it on just yet. I'm just going to set that aside. I don't think you have to put it on right away. I got another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick one brick. I don't know if you can, you probably can't even see that back there, but I'll move it a little bit. So I'm picking one brick and I'm going to pick this right here to try to complete my plane. And then we got a five. One, two, three, four, five. Take two bricks from another player. I'm just going to take two bricks that I need out of here since there's no one else playing this. This is a sad little game here. Playing by yourself. So I took my two bricks. We got the first level of the plane done. The camera definitely doesn't want to focus on that. It definitely wants to focus on the board here. And we'll roll again. Two. One, two. One white brick. That works out well because I need, you know what, I think I'm going to do this because the special pieces I think are harder to come by, so I'm going to take, actually I can't do that, can I? And that's not actually a white one because that's the one I substituted in. So I guess I have to take this one. But yeah, this is, I think this is going to go on a little too long, probably longer than what anybody actually wants to watch this for. So I'm just going to build the rest of this right now and you can see what it looks like when I'm all finished up here. If you survived that horrible playthrough of the game, here is the finished plane and what it looks like. So this is an example of the, one of the models that you build from this. This would take quite a while, I think, to get through. I mean, if you're playing with this with two to four people, look at that piece, a little damage right there. If you're playing this with two or four people, this is quite a few pieces, so it would take you a while to get through this. And uh, this is what you'd end up with, and hopefully you'd win the game with your completed airplane. So there you go, there's a look at the LEGO Creator Race to Build It board game. I think overall a good pickup for $5, even with two uh, substituted pieces, which I can then substitute the correct ones back in. I think this is going to be a fun game for me and my son to play in the future. Right now he's only a year and a half, so we've got a ways to go before he would comprehend this. I'm thinking maybe four or five he would really enjoy this. And I think my main concern about this game, if I had one criticism of it, it would be that it's just it's too easy to play. There's no strategy involved. Basically, if you can roll the die and go around the board and build a, you know, maybe what's a 12-piece a Lego model, you, you can play this. So maybe the demographic is like, you know, five, five to ten-year-olds, and I'm sure it probably is. Uh, I guess it does say right here ages seven and up, which I think at seven years old, you probably want a little bit of strategy in your game. But I think it's going to be fun anyway, and I'm happy to have this in my collection, something that I've never found before and, and at a pretty good price that's in really good condition. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this board game, something a little different, and I will see you in the next video.